Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day. We're gonna do a quick video on a tag called the track modifier tag. And if you're not aware of this one, it is under animation tags and it's called track modifier. Let's add that to our object. And it's a really useful tag. So I'm gonna walk you through some of the parameters. First thing you need to know is that it will respond and affect anything with keyframes. So it has to be animated. Here's our pyramid. We have keyframes on zero and 20 and it's just dropping down. If we go to the tag options here, we have four different modes. Spring is, you could consider this to be like a jiggle deformer or a delay effector. So if we increase the strength, you can see that it has some secondary animation at the end of it and kind of springs into place here. We can increase the stiffness and drag if we wanted to ease into that resting position a little bit quicker, but that's what spring is. It's basically a delay effector, but a lot faster and easier to use. All right, the other thing we can do is posterization and noise and smooth. Smooth will just smooth out your keyframes if they're kind of choppy. I'm not gonna go over that, but noise is going to add a little bit of extra noise to your animation. And you could think of this as a vibrate tag. So we have to increase the strength and then we also increase the speed. So you can see it's going kind of crazy. We can lower the speed and the strength and we're just getting some extra animation. So it's very much like the vibrate tag. And in fact, I don't actually like it as much as the vibrate tag. So I hardly ever use this noise feature. What I use all the time is the posterization. So let's go to posterization. And there's quite a few different features that are awesome in here. Offset is one of them. And we can offset when this animation starts. So if we went to say 20 frames, it's not gonna start until frame 20, but you'll notice that none of our keyframes moved. So we're able to um, change when it starts without going into our dope sheet and messing with the keyframes. So that's a really nice feature. Let's undo that and let's go to the time factor. If we go to 100%, it's basically going to take this 20 frame animation and it's gonna stretch it out 100% so it'll go to frame 40. So this is a way that you can slow down or speed up your animation speed very quickly without even going into your dope sheet and messing around with the keyframes. So if you wanted to go uh, twice as fast, you would go to minus 50, and then it's gonna happen in 10 frames instead of 20. So it's actually a pretty nice way to be able to take any set of keyframes and just stretch them out a bit if you want to. All right, so that is the time factor. Now the frame step is if you wanted to make sort of a stop motion or posterized time effect. Right now it's playing every frame, but if we increase this to say five frames, it's gonna play every five frames. So it'll hold that first frame for five frames, and then it will click to the next section and hold that for five frames. And it's gonna give you that jumpy look, which would be kind of like a stop motion effect. And this is also uh, really useful on something like a clock. So we have our clock hand going here and it's very smooth, but sometimes you'll have a little bit of a stop motion effect to the seconds as they click by. So we can just go to the secondary arm, which is animated on the rotation. And we can just go to animation tags, track modifier, We'll go to posterization and then we'll click say four or five frames. And now we have that sort of stop motion effect, which is what a second hand would do. So that's pretty awesome. All right, one last thing I wanted to mention is if we delete this tag, if you just wanna have it affect one parameter, so position or rotation, let's say we just want it to affect Y, you can actually just right click on Y, go to animation, and you can click on add track modifier tag. And it's gonna add that tag, but in the inclusion, you can see that it will only have the position Y. So now this tag is only affecting that one parameter that you selected. So that's a nice little tip there. So that's the track modifier tag. It's a really great way to get some springing animation, some secondary animation, uh, or to do that stop motion effect. All right, hope you found that useful. Thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab. We'll talk to you next time. Ciao.